My name is Hunter Chapman. I'm from Monroe, Louisiana, and I graduated from Louisiana State University. Well, when I was first uh, going through school, actually right out of high school and into college, uh, I primarily was looking at uh, becoming a medical doctor. And uh, it actually wasn't until I saw an optometrist before going to college uh, that I was exposed to the profession. And so um, going into college then, uh, I uh, med school is in my mind, but also optometry is sort of lingering in the back of my mind as well. And I started shadowing optometrists uh, probably around sophomore, junior year of college. And, and that's when I fell in love with the profession. Uh, basically, it was from the uh, doctor-patient interactions and the relationships that with every optometrist that I saw, uh, they had uh, deep relationships with these, with these patients. And uh, I thought that was really great. I knew for me, with my personality, uh, I like to get to know the patients and, um, and be able to help them and their families. Uh, and I saw that. It was very apparent in optometry. I think it's very important to shadow before even applying uh, to optometry school uh, because that lets you know if you want to be that professional or not. Uh, when I got to shadow, that's when I finally realized that I wanted to be an optometric physician. Uh, luckily, I was able to shadow many different practices as well uh, that helped me uh, gain an appreciation for all the different types of fields that you can go into. Uh, I shadowed an MDOD clinic, which let me see uh, the interaction between an ophthalmologist and an optometrist. Uh, I also saw uh, a clinic where there's two optometrists working, uh, and then a, a private practice where it's just one optometrist. Uh, and so that gave me more of a global perspective of the different routes that I could choose to go into uh, when gaining licensure uh, after SEO. Uh, and I think it's really important because um, you don't want to get into school, uh, start accruing all these uh, accruing all this debt and then realize it's not for you. And so I think uh, as soon as you can, start shadowing. Being from Louisiana, uh, I get to have uh, the state seating arrangements, uh, and there's only a handful of optometry schools that allow you to do that. Uh, luckily, SEO is one of them. Uh, I, so I also applied to the schools that um, had that uh, uh, state seating arrangement, the SREB funding, uh, with Louisiana. Uh, so I primarily looked at those schools first. Uh, just from a financial standpoint. And uh, based on those schools, when I went to the, those institutions for the interviews, uh, is when I finally started deciding um, the pros and cons with each school. Uh, sat down with my, my, my parents and, um, and tried to figure out uh, what would be the best institution for me personally and uh, where I'd gain the most experience and, and knowledge. There's a whole host of reasons why I joined uh, SCO. Um, I could narrow it down to two. Uh, Basically, when I, when I first came here, I'd never actually been to Memphis until I showed up the day from an interview. And when I, when I got here, there was just a profound sense of belonging. Uh, right when I walked in to get my visitor's name badge, actually, uh, I felt wanted. Uh, whether it was students, faculty, or staff members, uh, everyone seemed to have a, a keen interest in me and, and wanted to talk to me, wanted to get to know me. Uh, it wasn't just in the interview room. It was all around the school, even during the tour. And so that to me was uh, a, a huge um, benefit and it really stood out to me uh, on, the, on the drive home after actually the interview day. And the second reason for me was uh, being able to work in the eye center. Uh, it was really uh, the highlight of my tour uh, when I was here visiting. And um, basically with all the different instrumentations, the different brands that you can work with, and the early exposures, uh, the early exposure to patients, uh, that you get to have at school here um, because I wanted to be the best clinician I could be when I, when I left SCO and uh, the eye center allows you to do that. It gives you that potential um, with the different instrumentation that they have. Uh, you can work with all the different types of brands so you know what you might want to use in your practice as well. Uh, so the eye center was definitely uh, a, a pillar for the school for me. Uh, I've really grown to love Memphis. Uh, there, it, it, there's something that appeals to everyone here. Uh, primarily, uh, Memphis is a young professional or, or college-based city, at least in my eyes, uh, because you have the law school, you have medical school, pharmacy, optometry, all sorts of colleges and universities and, and, and high schools. Uh, so there's something that's going to appeal to that age group uh, in all parts of the city. And uh, so there's never a dull moment. Uh, we, we usually um, 
whether we go out downtown or, or in Midtown, uh, if you're a sports fan, we have the Redbirds, we have the Grizzlies. So uh, there's anything and everything you'd want to do. I, I actually like to uh, run and be outdoors, and uh, where I live gives me that opportunity to do that. Fortunately, I've gotten to be involved with several organizations here. Uh, first of all, I'm a student ambassador, and I really enjoy that because I get to meet the incoming students and get to meet prospective students. Uh, because I've been in their shoes before, uh, it's nice to give my advice for what it's worth uh, to these students and, and be able to share why I love the school that I, uh, as I do. Um, I'm also a part of an organization called American Optometric Student Association, which I, I thoroughly enjoy as well. Um, and fortunately, I've, I've been able to uh, reach a leadership role uh, in that organization. and allows me to uh, network with students here at the school, but also across the nation. Uh, with, and, and including Canada with all the 23 uh, schools uh, that we have. Um, so I've really gotten to enjoy that time uh, being able to go to these conferences and meetings uh, across the nation um, and uh, with different organizations as well. I mean here at SEO uh, we, we do have campus functions uh, at the site uh, but we will have functions uh, in the city as well and we may also get to learn more about Memphis itself. And that's with the Mega Delta, uh, the, the um, more fun uh, fraternity here at the school. Uh, and so it's, it's a great time to, to kind of let go of the stress and just enjoy each other. And another organization that I've had uh, so much reward from is FOSH, uh, S-V-O-S-H. It stands for Student Volunteers and Optometric Service to Humanity. Uh, it is, uh, like I said, a very rewarding organization to be a part of. Basically, uh, you will be a member for a year. Uh, you will start usually in August and you start volunteering for different uh, service projects here at the school or in the city in general. And right there it's an opportunity to give back to others uh, if that's what you enjoy doing, which I, which I do enjoy when I have the time to do that. Uh, and over that year you will uh, accumulate uh, dollars that will go towards your funding for a much larger trip at the end of the year. Uh, I went to Belize and we were able to, there was 11 students and one staff doctor and in the four days of clinic we were able to to serve the vision needs uh, of over 800 patients there and that really gives you a, a profound sense of reward um, and, and it's, it's almost life-changing if you've never been able to work hands-on with patients that way and with patients that are underprivileged who don't or aren't able uh, to have um, vision care at, at their hand like we do. SEO has a, has a, a very keen concentration on service uh, and uh, I was also really impressed with that when I came here for my interview uh, because I was fortunate enough to give back in high school and in college and I knew the um, uh, sense of self-gratification that you can get from that uh, just by helping others in any way that you can and SEO provides you with all the different channels and avenues where you can give back to the community uh, with the strengths that you have. The primary transition issue I had when I came to SEO uh, from LSU was time management. Uh, I will tell you, I thought I had it all figured out. I was really busy in college, uh, but it's just a different ballgame when you come here. Uh, you really have to find a way to budget your time, and, and every student has to do it. Um, and honestly, there's almost no way to teach that. It's almost a trial and error type thing. And um, you just have to go through that transition period. And, uh, and I'm still learning different methods of, of managing my time. I still have different ways of um, organizing my day. Uh, some students like to treat it as a work day, where they'll just come at school at 8, no matter what time their lectures or labs start. They'll be here at 8, and they'll leave at 6. And then when they go home, they go home. Uh, a lot of uh, married uh, students will do that as well. And uh, for me, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's me studying till 2 a.m. So you just never know sometimes. So um, the biggest issue for me was the time management aspect uh, when coming to SEO. However, it's very doable. Uh, when you look at our classes, um, we, we might only lose two people. And so obviously, whenever you're accepted, uh, the school's investing in you and they believe in you. And so you have the potential to do it. It's just working through uh, these types of issues and, and working with your other students as well and, and encouraging each other 
and, and that's how you sort of battle that time management aspect of school. Yeah. So far uh, at SCO, uh, the favorite thing, my favorite thing about the school, uh, and um, and it really exceeded my expectations uh, with joining the school, um, was getting to know the students as well as I have. Uh, it's really funny. I came from a very very small high school. There was only about 40 students in my class. Then I went to basically the city of LSU, and then back to a class size of about 130. And that allows you to really get to know each other very well, and which is very important uh, just for your own personal well-being, but also professionally. Uh, when we leave here, when we leave school, when we go work in all the different parts of the country that we will work in, uh, we'll still get to see each other at these conferences and uh, around, around the globe, really. And uh, we can still call on each other for help, uh, if you see a certain eye condition, uh, or we can still call each other just to have fun sometime. And so really I, I've thoroughly get, gotten to enjoy every student in my class, and you really get to know every student in your class. It might take some time, uh, but the way SCO allows you to do that is um, once you break into your lab groups or your clinical groups, uh, it's always mixed every, every semester with a new lab group. So you're really able to get to know uh, all the students in your class is designed uh, for that purpose. So you're not looking at the one eye every time. You get to see everybody's eyes, and uh, but you really get to know the person as well. Uh, my overall experience at SEO has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, it has um, it's been tough, uh, but because of that, it's really rewarding. Uh, it, through um, whether you're making a, a better grade on exam two than you did on exam one, or you're learning a technique in lab that you struggled with early on and that you and your classmates struggled with uh, early on. So you really work together and, um, and, and sort of that togetherness of achieving the goals that you set for yourself is really rewarding for me um, from being here.